Open! I'd say that's an omen, wouldn't you? I know you. You do? Yeah, you're the face of deception. <laughs> you're right, you're right. You don't look like the type to read fashion magazines. You know, I had the occasion to check out deception in the name of research. You're good. Even better in person. You're good, too. Is all that charm natural, or do you have to work at it? Oh, I won't work at anything, if I can help it. Ah, I see. Well, I guess all those mega deals just drop right into your lap, then. Like Lois and Yadi. You know Lois? Well, if being her best friend and her business partner count, yes, I do. I am the B of Alan B, Brenda Barrett. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I've been planning to look you up. Why is that? Well, I intend to know everything there is to know about Lois. One look at you already tells me something. What's that? Lois isn't threatened by working with a woman who's uh, beautiful and interesting in her own right. That, uh, I could have guessed that. So, now that you've done something for me, what can I do for you? <clears throat> yes. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you for your part in getting back L&B. And, um... Not to burst your bubble, but I was asked to return this to you. Oh, nuts. <laughs> she didn't like it, huh? No, she thought it was amazing. In fact, her exact words were, Holy Toledo, it's bigger than Bobby's. Bobby's what? Cute. But she won't accept it. Did you seriously think she would? Well, all she had to do is take it out of the box, put it on her finger and write me a little thank you note. And run off with me. Do you always ignore the obvious? Nope. For instance, right off, I noticed you weren't wearing a wedding ring. No, I'm, I'm not married or engaged. Hmm, the plot thickens. She doesn't want to discuss him. Who says there's a him? Your eyes. Very nosy, aren't you? Well, that's so you'll be grateful when I start asking questions about Lois instead. Listen, what is the deal with you where Lois is concerned? Admittedly, not a lot. Yet. I'm very well aware that Lois has made it clear to you that she's very happily married to a man she loves. So she thinks. And as I keep patiently trying to point out to her, it's in everybody's best interest for her to spend a few days alone with me. <laughs> Otherwise, she'll always wonder, don't you think? <gasps> Oh, I see. So, your reasons for pressuring her to run away with you are purely altruistic. Hell no. If you really think that you're going to wear Lois down, you're so wrong. You don't know Lois. Well, I'm open for instructions. How about dinner tonight? <laughs> Why am I not insulted that a man is asking me out to pick my brains about another woman? But you're not. I hope. No, I'm not. Is that a yes? Well, I am starving. So, yes. 